Welcome back, Little About A Lot, part three of the Patio Extension Project. It's a gloomy day today, it looks like it's gonna rain, but I hope I can get at least a post or two set. Finally got the concrete in, got 42 bags, because you know what? It is cheaper to get 42 bags than it is 40 bags. The guys at Home Depot were so nice to help me. When I'm starting here, I'm gonna work on these posts here, and hopefully, like I said, get as many done before the rain comes and gets us. We've got the slabs done. Finally, I had a buddy come over and help me with pouring the concrete. Big help there. We ended up pouring 40 and a half bags between the posts and the cornhole area and the fire pit. So that's quite a bit of mixing by hand, but we did it. As you can see, the posts are set. I leveled them off at the top, cut them off, made them all nice and level so it'll look nice instead of just having a whole bunch of posts that are just different. 
heights. As you can see here, all the slabs are nice and dry. I pulled the form boards off of them. The only one that we had made the exception for was this one right here, where the previous post was encroaching on the slab itself, but I think it's gonna be just fine. The cornhole board is going to go here with the back end of it sitting over there. Same thing on this side. Form boards are out. Everything's nice and drying. I'm going to give it another day or two before we really start walking on it and doing whatever I need to do. Rock will go around it here, here, and here. We've decided to switch our minds up here. Instead of doing rock, we're going to do some bark mulch. I think it's going to look a little bit better. I still have the water feature to do. I still have a swing, a double, and a swing. And then the pergola style topping I'm going to put up here to tie all those posts together. Getting closer. A little bit further, pushing through. <laughs> excited to show you guys this project at the end of the project here let's take a small tour because I'm proud of this work Tim our cornhole boards are in the pads for it to sit on are nice and dry this is another project that I made I have a video on that it's the game stands put your beer on top of it you're good to go rock is all in packed down slab for the fire pit which we will end up buying a fire pit thingy for it eventually the double swing is in. You got to get a cushion and a couple of pillows for it. It is stained. It's double. It's five feet long. I have a video on that one. I just posted it. So if you want to see how to make one of those, check it out. As you can tell, the other side is done. Slabs are nice and dry. Game stand, cornhole. Bark mulch is in each side. This is where the water features are going to go on each side. Pumps are being ordered. We are going to order some of those hammock style chairs to go in each one of these because it's just too cluttered if I make two more of the regular swing chairs here. Big granite rock has been placed everywhere it needs to be. Posts are set three feet down into the ground. Brought them up, tied them together, this pergola style. Put this little end on it. I can't remember what it's called when you do something like that, but there it is. <laughs> Patio swing is nice and fun. It is pretty awesome. We're still waiting for some springs to put on it up here at the top. They've also been ordered from Amazon. 
As you can tell, it's a perfect distance between the fire pit and the patio swing. I also have some extra lights here that I installed. These are 50 watt LEDs. They're perfect. They shine straight down onto the cornhole boards at night. You're able to see whatever you want to do. Got these nice LED string lights. Just about everybody has them on their patios now. But man, they are awesome too. They're like two watts a piece. And there's 15 of them, so it's only like 30 watts of power. It's insane, but it brightens it, brightens it up so much at night. It's awesome. The shade is providing plenty of it. It is doing really well as well. The support beam was, man, what an upgrade. It has worked great. Got it stained. Still have to do the other side. I bought a vinyl cutter for this so I can make stickers and all sorts of kind of cool stuff. Thanks for following this process, guys. I've really been excited to do this. It has been a kind of a labor of love. It turned out awesome. We can't wait to have some friends over once all this stuff gets out of here, this coronavirus. Can't wait to have some friends over, party a little bit, maybe have a crawfish boil, do something out here. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for keeping track. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.